the next uh, next speaker is uh, Dr. Kozu Ikago, professor of Tok University. He will talk about seismic control design of tall buildings using tuned viscous mass damper. Uh, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, okay, uh, I will start my presentation with background and motivation. And after giving a quick review on the tuned viscous mass damper, I will uh, show you the uh, method of uh, model de decomposition of uh, tuned viscous mass damper seismic control uh, system. And finally, I will uh, show you a very simple method to estimate the maximum response of a uh, multi-story building incorporated with tuned viscous mass dampers. Okay. Uh, it is well known that TMD tuned mass dampers are effective against wind-induced vibrations. Um, however, a supplemental mass less than 2% of the effective mass of the primary structure is uh, not sufficient for seismic control. So the question is, how can we obtain such a large mass sufficient for seismic control? So this is the one, uh, one answer. Uh, this shows a newly developed uh, rotational mass damper, which has a rotation, uh, rotational uh, amplifying mechanism here. Oh, sorry. Uh, linear motion is uh, translated into high-speed rotational motion here, and the amplified motion generates large inertial mass and large uh, viscous resistance force. And the torque uh, uh, generated by this mechanism is uh, translated back into linear force. At that time, amplification of the force is again achieved by the uh, ball screw mechanism. So uh, amplification is achieved twice by the uh, ball screw mechanism. The ball screw mechanism amplifies the small actual mass of the cylindrical fly, fly wheel uh, several thousand times. So this means a uh, very small actual mass, uh, for example, about 800 kilograms of uh, actual, uh, 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 very small uh, cylindrical uh, fly wheel having very small actual mass uh, of about 800 kilograms is amplified up to uh, several thousand tons of apparent mass. So, uh, motivation of this study is uh, uh, because uh, structural designers are familiar with uh, real valued eigenvalue an analysis, but they are not uh, familiar with complex valued analysis. So, uh, but uh, the uh, multiple degree of freedom structure incorporated with the tuned viscous mass damper are generally uh, non-proportionally damped, so uh, complex valued analysis is required. But I'd like to present a very simpler method, uh, uh, seismic uh, response estimation method, uh, using only using the uh, real valued eigenvalue analysis. So uh, here I'd like to show you a quick uh, review on the uh, tuned viscous mass damper. The basic concept of the tuned mass damper is the same as a, a conventional tuned mass damper. In tuned mass damper con uh, system, uh, the tuned mass damper is uh, uh, connected in series to the primary system, and the uh, dashboard and the spring is in parallel in this system, and the uh, large additional mass, uh, several percent of the primary mass is required for seismic control. So, uh, tuned mass damper is not usually used for seismic control. This shows the configuration of tuned viscous mass damper system. The 
tuned viscous mass damper is configured in parallel to the primary system. And uh, in the tuned viscous mass damper, the dashboard and rotational mass is in parallel, and they are co uh, connected by a soft spring uh, by the, uh, to the uh, primary system. And this rotational mass is activated by the interstory motion, not by the uh, ground motion. If the very large mass is activated by the ground motion, it, co it might cause a big problem, but it is not activated by the uh, ground motion. Uh, this shows the comparison of tuned mass damper uh, control system and uh, tuned viscous mass damper system. Uh, usually, the tuned mass damper, uh, in, in tuned mass damper system, very large mass is concentrated on the top of the building, uh, but uh, while the, uh, in tuned viscous mass damper system, very small actual masses are uh, scattered in the building, and the very small uh, actual mass is amplified by the ball screw mechanism, and many dampers yields, uh, again, uh, yield a large mass effect. And we have uh, several, multiple dampers in this system, so uh, by tuning the each damper to each specific mode, uh, we can, uh, it can provide multiple modal control. So this shows uh, energy dissipated in dashboard in, in the uh, conventional oil damper system and the uh, tuned viscous mass damper system. In the right-hand right side uh, figure, uh, the horizontal, oh, sorry, uh, horizontal axis, horizontal and vertical axis re uh, respectively, res respectively shows uh, dashboard deformation and viscous damping force in the uh, dashboard. So uh, the ellipses, uh, the areas of ellipses uh, shown here represents the energy dissipated by the damper. In the conventional oil damper, uh, the deformation of the dashboard is same as the uh, interstory drift, but uh, in the tuned viscous mass damper system, the dashboard de deformation is enlarged by the uh, additional uh, vibration system. So the, the vibration system, uh, additional vibration system is activated by a resonant component, so the deformation here is uh, enlarged. So very large energy dissipation is achieved by this uh, system. So this shows how it works. It, it, uh, this shows a real-scale uh, damper uh, dynamic test. Here uh, we have a shake table. This is uh, uh, moved by a 3,000 kilonewton dynamic actuator. And the linear motion inputted here is uh, uh, translated into high-speed rotational motion. So this is a rotational uh, motion amplifying mechanism. And uh, the force generated by the uh, damper is uh, also uh, amplified by this uh, system. This rotational viscous mass damper is supported by high strength steel cantilever. And this uh, spring stiffness or, and uh, uh, mass uh, configures additional vibration system. So, uh, as, as, I, as I said before, um, this is the, the basic concept of the, uh, this uh, system is uh, the same as the tuned mass damper, but the mass we use is a rotational mass, and the, its actual mass is very small. So, uh, I'd like to show you the modal uh, response characteristics of uh, uh, multi-story building incorporated with uh, tuned viscous mass damper using an uh, analytical model. This 10-story benchmark structure is provided by 
Japan Society for Base Isolation. And uh, uh, this building has a fundamental period of 2.01 second. And uh, supplemental mass ratio attached to this structure is uh, 0 0.06. And uh, uh, th th this shows the uh, tuned viscous mass dampers. So in each dampers, it has uh, secondary masses. And the uh, masses are distributed uh, such that they are proportional to the stiffnesses of the primary structure. So this shows the uh, comparison of eigenvalue analysis. analysis. Uh, upper three modes shows uh, participation mode vectors of the undamped primary system. So uh, this is uh, real eigen real eigenvalue analysis. Uh, th th these are derived from the uh, real eigenvalue analysis because the primary structure was undamped. While um, the TVMD, tuned viscous mass damper seismic control system, is non-proportionally damped. Uh, so uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, complex conju conjugate pairs of modes. So uh, the first mode in the primary system is split into 11 pairs of conjugate uh, modes. And the second mode corresponds to 12th pair of modes in the uh, complex value analysis. And third mode in the primary system correspond to the uh, 13th uh, conjugate pair of the modes. And the uh, first and uh, 11th pairs of modes are significant, while uh, these uh, second to 10th pairs of modes are insignificant, insignificant because uh, the order of magnitude is uh, three a order of magnitude smaller than and, uh, first and uh, 11 pairs uh, of modes. Uh, in this complex valued analysis. Ah. So, and uh, we can say that if we combine the first pairs, a pair and the uh, 11th pair, uh, we can obtain almost a uh, mode, real mode, that coincides very well with the uh, undamped primary system, uh, mode vectors of the undamped primary system. So, thi and this shows comparison of angular frequencies and damping ratios. Uh, in the left-hand side, uh, this shows uh, angular frequency and damping ratio uh, obtained from the real eigenvalue analysis. And the left-hand side is obtained from complex valued analysis. Uh, as we can see, the first mode in the primary system is split into 11 mode, and the uh, angular frequency is almost identical to the, uh, uh, or each other, and the damping ratio is substantially increased uh, by the tuned viscous mass damper, while second and three, uh, third mode in the second and third mode, the damping ratio are almost unchanged. And also, angular frequencies are almost unchanged. Okay. Uh, on March 11th, Japan is hit by a very a big earthquake. And th this shows uh, accelerated uh, ground motion recorded at our university, Tohoku University, on March 11th. And these three graphs show uh, time history of displacement of the benchmark structure uh, on the top, uh, fifth floor, and the second floor. Solid line shows, uh, uh, solid line is derived from the complex valued model analysis. 
uh, this uh, displacement is calculated by combining first to 11th complex, complex valued uh, model analysis. Uh, that that uh, corresponds to the first mode of the primary structure. And dotted uh, lines shows the approximated uh, time history obtained from the uh, real eigenvalue analysis. So this shows, uh, these graphs show that uh, they uh, coincide, they agree very well, well with each other. So this indicates that uh, uh, maximum response of the uh, tuned viscous mass damper seismic control system can be well approximated by real eigenvalue analysis. So this shows the uh, square root of some of the squares uh, estimation and uh, uh, a comparison of SRSS est estimation and uh, uh, exact uh, time history analysis. So uh, in the preliminary design stage, uh, this accuracy is very uh, sufficient for structural engineers, I think. So uh, we, now I uh, conclude my presentation. Okay, uh, a quick review of the tuned viscous mass damper seismic control system is given. And the damping ratio for the controlled mode of the tuned viscous mass damper seismic control system is readily obtained from that of the equivalent uh, single degree of freedom system incorporated with the tuned viscous mass damper. And uh, finally, the seismic response estimation based on uh, some of uh, square root of some of the squares method gives a good approximation. So. Uh, very simple uh, seismic, maximum seismic response estimation method is proposed. Thank you. Uh, any, any question? Uh, okay. Okay, uh, this, uh, this looks like a very interesting concept. Um, have you, uh, are there plans to install this in a, a test building? Ah, okay. So, uh, I'd like sh to show the uh, picture of the test specimen. How can I do that? So as, uh, as I have shown you in the uh, test, the dynamic test, uh, the rotation of viscous mass damper is connected by a steel cantilever to the uh, primary structure. I was thinking of, hmm. of a real building rather than yes. a test setup. So, uh, okay. Uh, the, size of this damper is, okay, uh, the length of this damper in neutral position is about two meter. Uh, and in this dynamic test, uh, okay, you can consider this uh, uh, girder of the lower floor. And uh, uh, over uh, there, uh, we have uh, a girder of the uh, next floor. So uh, this damper is connected by this cantilever uh, connected to the gutter of the upper floor. So this can be installed in the frame of the structure. Maybe uh, in the back of the elevator shaft, maybe. So uh, somewhere, uh, uh, usually, braces are placed. So this can replace the conventional oil dampers because it is very small, as small as the com conventional oil dampers. Other questions? Okay, uh, thank you for your yeah. good.